Exam room one is ready for you, Harrow. Shall we get started? So, on season three, we're really lucky to have Steve Boyle in-house, who's the head of prosthetics, and his artistry and attention to detail just adds this level of realism, which has really added so much value. All the autopsy scenes, the injuries that the victims have, the dead bodies, all that sort of stuff, it's so important to our show. We've tried using all different organic materials to replicate human organs. They make stomachs and gallbladders and, you know, lungs. Like, what they do is amazing. The second episode, which Yoan directed, where we got to do a lot of work with the vampire, which was an obscene amount of fun for me. Then episode two, there is a shot where Harrow puts the endocam into the mouth of uh, the deceased. And I thought it might be fun to turn the endocam around and look out from the mouth's point of view. And uh, Steve was able to build that for me. Ultimately, we want this stuff to look as realistic as we possibly can, but it has to be a real visceral experience. Like, it, it kind of has to be gross, and you have to use colours that look like they would smell, or you make bodies that look like they have been dead for a day, five days, five weeks. There have been times when I've been in the edit in post-production, and sometimes you're sitting there and they're putting lungs onto the weighing station, and I'm like, oh, that's gross. Sometimes it looks so real, it can be quite confronting. Every day I still am grateful for this one because we get to build anything. You know, when you have the writers that they do, we're constantly surprised by what's coming up. I love that feeling of still reading a script, still being excited about what we get to build, and that hasn't gone away.